All right, with this um, video, I'm going to demonstrate making the Keller sandwich. Uh, the Keller sandwich is formed from two dorsal marginal zone explants. Um, in fact, the video that I'm going to show you um, first goes through the making of a dorsal marginal zone explant and then making a second one. So uh, first to isolate, to identify the stage you want to work with, uh, transfer those embryos to a dissection dish, dish uh, place a backstop that's going to help you um, manipulate embryos um, and explants later, kind of giving you a, a third hand. Here I'm going to remove the vitellin membrane with a blunt force up in the left hand and a sharp pointy force up in the right. Uh, try not to damage the surface of the embryo, but if you have to, um, don't uh, don't mark it up in the marginal zone itself. Just poke a hole in the animal cat. Uh, here I'm uh, sorting out my embryos, looking for the ones that I want to make the sandwich with. I'll, s I'll choose this one as my first explant, first dorsal marginal zone explant, and start working on it. Uh, I want to make my first cut at about 90 degrees from the um, bottle cells, the midline indicated by the bottle cells. Make that first cut, make that second cut at the other side, uh, cut across the animal cap, and I'm going to pull a, the mesenderm away from uh, the low overlaying ectoderm. Here I am going to cut that, uh, that explant away from the rest of the embryo, leaving all the, uh, taking away all the vegetal endoderm. There it's gone. I'm going to scrape off the last bits of the vegetal endoderm down there at the vegetal end of this explant, um, using the backstop as kind of a guide uh, for thickness. I'm going to cut away the uh, animal cap ectoderm from this explant and now trimming it down a little bit uh, to, to the size that I want. Okay, so I'm just cleaning it up and now I'm going to just inspect it a little bit to make sure there's no big cuts or wounds in this that would uh, preclude me from using it in a sandwich. All right, great. Uh, that one looks good. I'll uh, look at the inside. It also looks good. Um, note the big vegetal cells on the uh, vegetal side and the tiny uh, cells on the um, animal side. And it smooths, uh, it's very smooth at that point. Um, I'm going to then set that explant aside and get another embryo, one of those three that I picked earlier, uh, bring that into view. And this is going to go by much, a little bit faster. Uh, again, make the first cut, um, make the second cut. I'm making it a little bit narrower this time because I want to make a Keller sandwich, and that requires only about 90, uh, plus or minus 90 degrees from the, from the midline. Here I am going to remove that explant from the rest of the embryo, um, tidy up a little bit. Now I'm going to uh, remove the animal cap. Um, and now I'm going to compare the two. And it's really important for the sandwich to have two pieces, uh, two dorsal marginal zone explants that are about the same size. The one that I cut a, a few seconds ago um, was a little too big. Um, so I'm going to cut that down to size. And then, um, you know, good to have them both side by side because you want to be able to match them up. I'm going to then place them on one on top of the other and uh, line them up. And now I'm getting a a cover slip fragment with a dab of uh, silicon grease on either end. I'll, uh, I'll put, that, put that into the dish, uh, position it over the explant, and then uh, sort of gently compress that uh, sandwich, the two faces, the two, uh, sandwich, the two explants together into a sandwich. You can think about it as a cold pressed sandwich. Um, the pressing is really up to you. Um, I find uh, about a 20% strain in that tissue really uh, gets them to hold together and heal to the, together quickly. Now, uh, magically, we're going to advance a little bit of time uh, and now look at that explant and see how it's healed. You can see the margins of those two explants have healed together very well. They're not perfectly sealed yet. Um, because they've only been in there for about 30 minutes. But I want it now, because in order for the sandwich explant to elongate, you have to take it out from underneath that cover slip. And so that's, the, that's a tricky part itself. Uh, you want to take it out without compressing the explant any further. And so here I am uh, sort of inspecting that, um, that Keller sandwich, um, taking a look at the edges to making, make sure that they've both, they've healed around the margins. And um, at the very end, I'm just going to take a look um, and uh, see how well it's, it's healed up and, uh, and how symmetrical it looks. Looks great.